Hey guys, good to be talking to you guys again today. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. So yesterday was one of the most amazing Sundays I've ever, ever had in my life with you guys, of course. So yesterday, um, I had a YouTube live with you, my subscribers, and I also had an Instagram live with you, my subscribers as well. It was really, really fun. Like that was the first time ever that I'll be trying out the YouTube live with you guys. And it was worth the while or worth my while rather. So, um, I really had an enlightening moment or, um, of conversation with, um, one of you on Instagram live. Live. Your name is Adeniron Tosi. Tosi, thank you so much for coming on to my Instagram live. So guys, we discussed a lot about living abroad and all the works. So um, I decided to download that video directly from Instagram and share it with you guys. So for those of you who are considering traveling abroad from Nigeria or probably from any part of the world that you are, um, you are planning on migrating and becoming a citizen in the US, I think you'll find this video, this conversation that I had with Tosi, very very educative informative and very very enlightening toasting we spent over an hour having that conversation but i just had to edit the video because i know a lot of you might just you know your attention span might not be up to one hour so i decided to make the video this 20 minutes so please do not skip any part of the video because every single part of the video is filled with information please watch to the end of the video and let me know what you think in the comments section as you watch this video thank you guys so much you won't see my face anymore after now just continue watching the video and have a blast i'll see you guys in my next video do have a lovely lovely day accepted Hi. <laughs> Hi. Let me take my glasses <laughs> off so you can see me. What's up, bro? Okay, I can see you. I'm good. Oh, How are you? I was just locked down and everything. Which Hi. which country are you from? I'm in US. I thought there's a lockdown. Where did you go? Oh, so let, let me tell you something. They are deceiving you, people. <laughs> see, can you see this? This is U.S. Oh my God. for crying out loud. This is U.S. <laughs> but, um, I'm right now I'm in Oklahoma. What's the situation like where you are right now? Is there are there any cases? Um, right actually, now? yeah, there are some cases. Yeah, actually, though, like I think there are actually like six or seven cases in in Oklahoma oh. right now. Six or seven, but in Vegas, I actually came here to do something from from Vegas, like. Three weeks ago, about, but now I can't even fly back. Any of the subscribers from my YouTube channel, um, mm -hmm. what was your life like before COVID 19? Like I said, I'm always out there traveling from and back, from and back. Like last year, now I traveled a lot. I know that one for sure. I can do my classes anytime I feel like I can actually do my classes in activities like movies. You are actually restricted, of course. What else? Parks and all those, like more fun stuff, like gun shooting range and all those things, like travel, go on the beach. I can't. Me, yeah. normally, I don't watch Netflix, but now, just have to. Because you, you will be tired of boredom. On YouTube, um, I have to be bringing some things I see on YouTube because just as I upload videos on there, I also watch all that. <laughs> Well, people that actually are based abroad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, on what would you say? How would you compare the hustle of Nigeria to the hustle of a Nigerian living in the US? Is it the same thing? Do you think the hustle is stronger for Nigerian living in Nigeria or for Nigerian living in the US? What's the difference? Or are they the same? Honestly, let me tell you the truth. They are the same. It's just that Nigeria is a messed up country. I'm sorry to say that. So, I well, like, I have people, I mean, people people in Nigeria, should be, they, there are some people that actually does Uber now, right? Of course, yeah. I do, I, I used to, but I'm doing something closer to that, like more food delivery. But check this out. One thing, people, it's just that me, I'm a lazy woman, being, like, driving around. There's there's something called DoorDash here, actually, that if you if you really put in the work, 
no jobs. You can make about a thousand five every week. What's that about? What did you call it again? Daughter. Daughter. Mm -hmm. What is what it's is a it food about? delivery? Just pick up people's food and drop it off. That's it. Wow. If you put in the work, I have done it before one time, but I put in the work. But one thing people don't know is that people, they just go, oh, no, I'm tired. No, no, no. People don't actually want to work. But Nigerians, I feel like if Nigerians actually have that opportunity, things would be way better than people. Calculate that kind of money now compared to Naira. That's a thousand five. Yeah. That was about, That's a lot. I'm not mistaken. Probably 350k. Or yeah. It's a lot. Mm. Yeah. Wow. A week. If they bring like 90% of Nigerians here yeah, and they bring 90% of Americans back to Nigeria, <laughs> honestly, America is going to, um, Nigeria is going to be a better place. Trust me. I feel like it's not just about Nigerians. Also, our we have leader. our leader, of course. That, that, our leader, they tend, to make, they tend to make laws that are not favorable to any other person but themselves. Okay? So, let's say for instance the way the u.s operates there we know that there's also corruption in the u.s even so high level of Le yeah let me tell you something corruption is in u.s is worse than nigeria that's one thing people don't understand it's just that their own corruption is professional we nigerians the way we do our own corruption eh, is we are doing it publicly so that people will know but then they are doing it on like they are using sense to do their own. Okay, like all this, um, they are saying Americans are giving people well money a thousand two hundred. Do, do you actually? I keep telling people that even for actually thinking Americans don't know what they are doing, they actually know what they are doing. That money is not it's not free. It's money that they know that is circulating within within their own economy. So this they actually still gonna take the money back. You wanna of ask course. why? By the end of the year, they will eat your taxes. You are spending the money to Walmart and go and be buying groceries. They will eat Walmart groceries, and at least they will, they will take. 40% to 30% back from them. I mean, the situation over here, it's so draining. I mean, it, it affected drains. me too. Let me don't lie. I'm going to be honest. Like, this corona thing, like, job-wise, it affected me. <laughs> it really affected me. I'm going to be honest with you because even my job in, in Vegas, I had to stop it for living way better than we here in America. It's just that we have more opportunities than Nigerians. That's the only difference. Sure. Because at the end of, sometimes I, I, I keep telling people that I get tired of America easily because number one, every month you will pay rent. Let me just calculate the bills for you. You will pay house rent. My house has insurance. You will pay house insurance. You will pay phone bill. That's three. You will pay car insurance. You will get gas. You will pay um, health insurance. At the end of your paycheck, Social Security will remove their home. Federal will remove their home. Um, states will remove their home. Medicare will remove their home. So what's left? Okay, so why are Nigerians still clamoring to go abroad? If because, everything you want to afford, Because life is way home. better yet. You have a hope. Tomorrow will be good. But Nigeria, there's no hope. Yeah, um, it's actually true. It's, there's no hope for tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, some people, they'll be like, okay, yeah, I mean, there's light. But some people, they can actually make more money and actually have savings. Don't get me wrong. Especially if you are doing more of like nursing, doctors and all that. Let me ask you a question. Say, for instance, now, right? I am there. Mm -hmm. I am in the US. So mm -hmm. let's say, for instance... I have a nine to five job or I have a four hours job, about two different four hours jobs for a day. And then I also have a YouTube channel where I'm earning money and I'm also into online business. Does it mean that in all these businesses that I am doing, all these works and everything, I'm going to be paying tax from of all course, of them? Of course, you have to report your taxes, even as, a, um, as an independent business owner you have to oh so are you saying that all these okay US i don't know if you follow these US... two these two people their names are dara and ken i don't know if you know them um are they youtubers yes their life is oh. That's the only thing they do these people they make money off of youtube they make about 5k more than both both of them per month okay so wow. at the end of the day that's their income that's the way they make okay let me for example now 
David Doe. One thing most people don't know is that David Doe has a social security in America. You get me? Oh. He reports all the shows he does in America. He pays taxes at the end of the year. His house in Atlanta, okay. he pays taxes at the end of the year. Because if you don't, IRS, at the end of the year, they will, they will, they will not catch your door like And you don't want to have any issue with IRS. Those when are- you say insurance, so mm-hmm. you rent an apartment from a house mm-hmm. owner. You still have to pay insurance on that rented yes. apartment. Like my own apartment. No, Why? That's America for you. Some apartments they 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 calculate it with your oh, house with your rent. rent. But mine, I paid separately. So, in other words, if not for the kind of leaders that we have in Nigeria, Nigeria should be one of the best places to live oh, and yeah. grow, of course, and be successful. Yeah. And, okay, let me say this: Do you know that in America, even if you buy a house right off cash, you pay taxes at the end of the year? depending on how much you bought the house. Is it accumulated interest or do they have like a specific amount? You are paying because it's still, at the end, the, the way Americans say, it's still government's property. It's their land. It's not your, you not buy, bring land from ever. It's government's house. So you still have to pay tax at the end of the year. While I the feel one, like one of the headache. That, that, that's, a, nothing, nothing here goes for free that's america for you that is it advisable for me to relocate and leave all the liberties i have to spend my income the way i want and move over to the u.s where i start pay, paying heavily through my nose america is not for everyone if you're actually doing okay in nigeria i will tell you stay if you are doing okay but if you know that you would love to come and visit come and go perfect donald trump as he as he is right now is 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 a debtor so america america is a, is a good country it's a good country but still though life in nigeria is sweet if you have the money so That's how are you how are you coping currently how are you coping would you advise it's, people it's actually been god actually it's, it's, it's been god and to <laughs> say for yourself mm-hmm. But still, I still, mm-hmm. I still do a side also. So it's Lost catering it. for all your needs over there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because currently, a lot of a lot mm-hmm. of people have been looking for ways to leave the country. A lot of people stopped their nine to five, especially those people that were working at banks. They quit their jobs. They packed all their life savings, and they are looking for how to migrate to Canada and the US. So, um, with all those things that's happening, would you still advise them to continue pursuing their endeavors to come over to the other side where you are? At the end of the day, it's everyone's opinion, it's, but they don't they don't get to understand that until they come here. So when I see people that actually want to come, fine, it's okay for you to come. You will enjoy the life, but you you are welcome to the, to to. Um, one of the people that the actual debt does in America. Paul said something about the reason why he doesn't do giveaway on, on Instagram is because of we Nigerians. And he gave a point. He said on his DM, one dude like that, um, Bros. Paul, I don't mind. Even if it is 2,000 Naira, let me just use it to buy something. I don't mind. Then Paul said he sent this guy 10,000. Can you imagine what that guy said to Paul? He said, is that all you could do? I will, I will <laughs> sell this thing now and send it to Insta blog. And soon they had not. Yeah. I was like, you see, that, that's why that country, is, I, I don't think they're even going backwards again. They're tumbling. You know what? They're, they're tumbling backwards. No, just... You know what? In that regard, in every country, it's a given that we have some people that have their sanity, their sanity is still intact. And there are some people that stupidity has eroded their senses. Now, I did a video about it, you know, that are Nigerian people, online beggars. Now, these same people that go to celebrities' um, DMs to beg for giveaway, go to their comments and type their account details, yeah? For me, oh, I can't even try it because the same mouth that I used to bash you celebrities, I want to come, to come and beg you for money. It doesn't Nigeria, really make sense. No like they don't have shame. shame. We, we they don't have shame. shame. And that's the truth. They don't even have shame. You went to go and beg 2,000 Naira. And then they even blessed your life by adding extra 8,000 Naira. And you are saying, is that all you can do? You that you could do more. Why did you come and beg in the first place? And- all these billionaires are actually contributing. Dangote contributed 2 billion. 
is down i need to charge my phone um we'll do this another day again thanks for tuning in do enjoy the rest of your evening bye